And here's a look at department news. On Friday, January 25th, around 1235 hours, EMS personnel noticed smoke and fire coming from the workout room at Company 21 and immediately notified fire personnel. Crews from Engine and Ladder 21 attacked and extinguished the fire using water cans and CO2 extinguishers. The ceiling HVAC was the cause of the fire and was completely destroyed. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported in this incident. The fifth annual Guns and Hoses Ice Hockey Tournament was held on Saturday, January 26, at the Norfolk Scope Arena. A team comprised of members of the Norfolk Police Department and other members of the local law enforcement community challenged the Norfolk Fire Department and other area firefighters, including Virginia Beach, to a charity hockey game. All proceeds went to the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters. Each team battled hard until the end, but the firefighters came out on top with a final score of 4-3. to three. On Sunday, January 27th, around 1140 hours, Virginia Beach fire crews responded to a two-story residential fire in the Fairfield section of the city. Upon arrival, there was heavy smoke and fire in the rear of the structure. All residents safely exited the home and crews successfully knocked down the fire. Thorough overhaul of the structure was completed. The cause of the fire was a faulty space heater. Later that evening, around 2040, fire crews also responded to a report of a structure fire off Brandon Boulevard. When crews arrived on scene, they found a two-story duplex with heavy fire coming from the front exterior on the left side of the duplex. The fire was knocked down and salvage and overhaul was completed. No injuries were reported, but the fire did cause significant damage to the residents. Captain Brian Phillips gives us an overview of the scene. Uh, we arrived on scene. We had a heavy fire exterior on the A side. We were able to make an exterior attack, knock a bit, bunch of the fire down, and then we were able to move interior and start doing searches and overhaul from there. No injuries for any firefighters or civilians at this time. The guys did a great job. We were able to get a line off quick, had our own water supply. We were able to get a, the bulk of the fire knocked down exterior in a short amount of time. On Monday, January 28th, around 1045 hours, Virginia Beach fire crews were dispatched to a two-story residential fire in the 4,000 block of Sherman Oaks Avenue. Upon arrival, crews found heavy smoke coming from the roof line of the home. The homeowner informed crews all residents had vacated the structure. Crews knocked down the fire and salvage and overhaul were started. The fire is reported to have originated in the fireplace of the home and extended to the living room, first floor bedroom, floor to sunroom, and exterior of the second floor due to the fire extension up the chimney. We were able to talk to Chief Funiak about the incident. Okay, we had a two-story single-family residence. Occupants were out of the structure when we got here. 18 and 19's crew uh, entered the structure, a couple hand lines, got a knock on the fire on the first floor. The fire did extend to the second floor via the fireplace chaseway. And uh, once we got a handle on that, we're pretty much just mopping the fire up right now. No injuries that we know of right now to any firefighters or civilians, and we're still checking the structure to make sure um, all the animals and such are out of there. On February 2nd, District Chief Michael Baraki gave a special presentation regarding the April 2012 F-18 jet crash. The seminar, hosted by the Eastern Shore Regional Fire Training Center, was held at the Nandua High School in Only, Virginia. His presentation specifically reviewed the Virginia Beach jet crash and incident command system in escalating incidents. We were able to talk to some of the sponsors of the event. You know, as you know, uh, with the air traffic that goes on, uh, you know, across this country, uh, you know, what happened in Virginia Beach could likely happen here. Um, certainly the density may not be here, uh, but the risk remains the same. And so uh, lessons that we can learn from folks in Virginia Beach and our urban center uh, certainly apply to us. Uh, strong command and control, managing multiple resources is, is certainly beneficial to us. Right. The important to us in uh, Accomack County Eastern Shore is we do have that potential. We have a wild flight facility, we have an airport. Um, so obviously with that could happen here. Uh, we also have also Route 13, a railroad um, uh, connection route to the shore. So we do have potential to have a large scale incident. Um, we've been very fortunate over the years not to have that, but we're hoping that this uh, information he gives to us and the firefighters on the shore that will help us in time uh, through, if we ever had, had that incident, to uh, 
butter uh, to be able to handle it. On Sunday, February 10th, around 1345 hours, fire crews responded to a residential fire on Sarsfield Street in the Stumpy Lake area of the city. There were no reported injuries to firefighters or civilians. The cause of the fire is under investigation. District Chief Mike Baraki tells us more about the scene. Uh, crews from Battalion 3 C Shift got dispatched here to Sarsfield uh, Street for a reported uh, dryer fire. 18 reported on scene, working fire. A heavy fire in the garage area, um, also in the first floor. Uh, a lot of stuff in there, according to uh, uh, the captain, Engine 18 Foot said that they had a lot of stuff on the end of the garage to try to knock down the bo body of the fire. A lot of uh, uh, material stored in there. And when Ladder 9 got here, Boo Boo and his crew had a hard time making the second floor just because of stuff. The, the fire vans up and down. They had some crawl space fire as well as some knee wall fire and second floor fire because of the knee walls above them. Uh, all in all, good firefight, multiple bottles per guy and, and per firefighter to try and get in there and try to uh, get this fire under control. At approximately 0330 hours on Tuesday, February 12th, Virginia Beach Fire Department units responded to a report of a multifamily residential fire at an apartment complex on Marsh Duck Way in Virginia Beach. Upon arrival, crews knocked down the fire that was located in the shed under an exterior stairway. There was no extension to any residential living areas and no reported firefighter or civilian injuries in this incident. The cause of the fire is under investigation. We spoke to Captain Weiler about the call. Had a small shed fire underneath a residential occupancy. We had units from Company 11, Company 12, Battalion 1 respond out. Got it under control approximately five to ten minutes. Um, none of the occupants were injured. Everybody was evac on arrival. Um, no firefighter injuries or fatalities to report. It's still under, the cause is still under investigation. That's it for Department News. I'm retired Master Firefighter Bob Anderson. See you next time.